Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching, we're in statics and we're going to do problem 3.43, okay? It says the cable, these three cables are used to support the 40 kilogram flower pot and we need to determine the force in each cable. So we got cable AB, cable AC and cable AD and we have our flower pot that is going down, okay? So let's start by doing the weight of this flower pot. They give us that it was equal to 40 kilograms, so we know the weight is its mass, 40 kilograms, multiplied by 9.81, okay? So if we use our calculator, let's check what that guy uh, is. So we get 40 multiplied by 9.81, it's equal to 392.4, okay? So we get that this is equal to 392.4 newtons. Now, as usual, let's draw a free body diagram of this example. So we got at VD at point or interest at point A, okay? So if we look at point A, what do we have? So this is my point A. Now, since this is a 3D, let's make a sketch of how the coordinate system is so we don't get confused in at what direction all these coordinates are pointing at. We know that this guy is the x direction, this is in the y direction, and we're missing uh, only our z direction. So we got our z direction, okay? Now, what do we have? So we got cable AB that is going straight in the y direction, so we got a force that is on top of my y plane, so we got cable AB. We also have cable AC, which is exactly in the x direction, positive x direction. So cable AC. We have cable AD, which is going negative in the y and negative in the x, but it's going positive into the z direction. So we'll have something like, we'll have something similar to like this which is negative in the x, negative in the y, and positive in the z, okay? This is my force A, B. Now last, we have my pot, which has a weight of a total of 392.4 newtons. And that's all the forces I have in the system, okay? so. Let's just start by doing the sumatorio forces in the x direction. So this is the forces in the x direction. Okay, what do we have in the x direction? We have cable AC, which is going to the positive, minus whatever cable AB is going to the negative of our x direction. But how much of the cable, the force of the cable AD it's exactly the x direction. So, in order to do that, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use, or we're gonna calculate the magnitude of the total of the x, y plane force, which we're gonna call x, y, for our case. And we're also we're going to calculate the angle between this x, y plane with the cable. And it's called that guy theta, okay? So, Let's look at this triangle that is made with the x, y, cable, the cable, and this 1.5 meter. It will look something like this. So we have our this red triangle with the 1.5 meters facing this way. In the regular x direction, we have the x, y plane. So this will be the x, y plane. We have our angle theta in, the, in here, and we have our cable ABs, the total magnitude of the force. Okay, now we cannot calculate either AD, theta, or X, or the magnitude of the XY plane with this triangle. So we will need an extra triangle, which is going to be this guy over here only in the X and Y plane. So we'll have this triangle over here. Okay, also with the XY as its hypotenuse. So we'll have a similar triangle, not 
we'll have this triangle over here. Okay, now in the y direction, we have how much is in the y? We have two meters. Okay, and in the x direction, we have this quantity which is 1.5 meters. Uh, when we as we're doing this because we know the hypotenuse is the x, y, minus the, and this could be our another angle. This is it's not exactly the same angle. This is going to be, let's say, gamma. I don't even think we need to calculate that guy, okay? So if we know that this is a 1.5 and 2 triangle, this x, y will have a hypotenuse equal to 2.5. Because this is a similar triangle with the 3, 4, 5. If we multiply all these numbers by 2, we'll get 3, we'll get 4, and 5. So we know what that hypotenuse is going to be equal to. Okay? Since we know that x, y is equal to 2.5 meters, we can plug it into this triangle, which will get, so we get 2.5 meters. Okay? Now, with this triangle over here, we can find that theta is actually equal to the inverse tangent of so the opposite which is 1.5 divided by the adjacent which is 2.5 okay so let's check what that is how much that is so we do the inverse tangent of 1.5 divided by 2.5 and that gives me equal to 31 degrees. So we get that this is equal to 31 degrees. Okay? Now, we know that angle. So, since we know that angle and we want to know how much in the x direction, first of all, our force cable AD, we need to multiply by the cosine so we find the magnitude of this xy force. Okay? So, the force AD will multiply by the cosine of this angle. So force AD will multiply by the cosine of this angle. We'll get how much this x direction is in force, not in meter. Okay, so we do cosine of 31 degrees. Now, when we find this, which was equal to xy, this is not the on, this is not going only in the x direction. This word is not going on in the x direction. It also has some value in the y. So we need we need to separate it. So, but we already have this triangle over here. So how much in the x direction do we have? We have 1.5 out of 2.5. Basically the same as saying that I have 3 out of 5 because this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we need to multiply this guy also by 3 over 5 and this should be equal to 0 okay we can rearrange this equation and we can say that AC is equal to 3 over 5 of the force AD also multiplied by the cosine 31 degrees okay so that's it for the x direction if we do the same for the summatory of forces in the y direction what do we have oops we have the force AB, we have AB minus the AD in the y direction. How much is that? Well, it's going to be the same hypotenuse of the xy plane, but instead of 3 over 5, we're going to use 4 over 5 because this is the total amount going into the y direction. So it's going to be 4 over 5 of cable AD multiplied by the cosine of 31 degrees and this should be equal to zero we rearrange the equation again which is a b equals to 4 over 5 multiplied by the cable a d cosine of 31 degrees okay and last we have the summatory of forces in the z direction so what do we have we have cable a d which is now what part of cable AD is going into the Z direction? Is this guy over here. So if we check from here over here. So this 
comes from the part of this triangle with the angle theta, which is exactly this guy over here. And we already know theta, so we can say that it's going to be AD, oops, different color. So we have cable AD multiplied by the sine of our angle theta, which is 31 degrees. Okay, that's what's going up. And what's going down is our flower pot, which is negative 392.4 newtons, okay? And all this should be equal to zero. So in here, we can solve for our cable AD. So we got AD, it's equal to. So if we pass this guy to the other side, we get 392.4 newtons, all divided by the sine of 31 degrees. Okay, and let's check what this guy is equal to. So we use our calculator, we're gonna do 392.4 divided by the sine of 31 degrees. Oops. It's equal to 762 newtons if we round it up. Okay, so we want our first force. Now, what can we do? We can find AC because we already found AD, so this is going to be equal to. So, since we know AD, we are going to do 3 over 5 multiplied by 762 multiplied by the cosine of 31. So, we got 3 over 5 multiplied by minus 762 multiplied by the cosine of 31. And this gives me 392 newtons. So this is 392 newtons, okay? This is for my cable AC. Now my cable AB, we can also find it out, which is 4 over 5 multiplied by AB, so 762, multiplied by the cosine of 31 degrees, and this is equal to 523 newtons. Okay, so I think that was it for this problem. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, thank you.